Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donata White, and you are in the number one place to learn how to create content that converts into real dollars for your business. In this video, I'm talking about how to reach your target clients on social media, because I say this all the time, but social media for business has a real purpose. As a business owner, you're not on social media just to get the most followers. It's a little bit deeper than that because popular doesn't pay the bills. You're actually on social media to find and convert new customers. And that's the T. This is coffee. With that in mind, your strategy is not just to post what you think is gonna go viral or what you think is going to get the most likes or comments. It's actually to post what is going to attract your ideal customer to you and convince them to work with you. And this video is all about doing just that. So let's jump into the tips. Tip number one is to seek your customers where they are already hanging out. So figure out what social media platforms they're already using. And it's pretty easy to find demographic information for each platform. What hashtags do they use? What other accounts do they follow, both in your niche and not in your niche? When is your customer online? This is really important because different customer profiles are gonna be online at different times. For example, stay-at-home moms might be online when their children are at school or down for a nap, whereas young professionals without children are more likely to be online outside of business hours. So figure out where and when your customers are going to be on social media and meet them there. Step number two is to talk to your target customer directly about their problem. Now, if you've been a business owner and you've been studying marketing for any length of time, you've probably done what's called a customer avatar exercise. And that's where you write down a made up person who is the epitome of your ideal customer. You talk about everything about them, their job, their age, whether they're married, whether they have children. You think of every possible characteristic of this person and you write it down. And this is really important because that way you can imagine that you're talking to just one person when you write a post. So if you haven't done this already or you haven't revisited this and updated it in a while, seriously, do it. Think of everything you could possibly think of about this person. What they watch on Netflix, what they do in their free time, what exercise do they like best? I mean everything, down to giving this person a name so that when you write something for social media, you can imagine talking to him or her. Once you've written down the profile of this person, or if it's someone you actually know, it's easier to create content because you can actually talk to them. So you know what language to use because you know what language they're using. You know what problems they're struggling with. You know exactly what to say to convince them to work with you because you know exactly what they care about. Step number three is the big one, and it's to create what your ideal customer is searching for. Since you already have your customer avatar and you already know this person, you're actually at an advantage and you can create content that's exactly what they're already searching for online. There are three main ways I like to do this. First way, if you really know your customer, you can make an educated guess about what they might be typing into Google in order to find the answers to their problems. If you have a good guess about what they might be searching for, make a piece of content with that exact phrase or question as the title. The second way is to ask your current audience. Figure out what questions they're asking over and over again and make sure you have content pieces to address each of these questions. The last method that I like to use is keyword and topic planning research. Now you can do this any number of ways. There's lots of software and programs out there to help you. For YouTube, I use a tool called TubeBuddy and that helps me plan out what YouTube videos are gonna do better on my channel. That also helps me figure out what tags to add to those videos in order to make sure that they rank properly and do the best that they possibly can. But you can use the Google keyword tool. There's plenty of others that you can use, but basically what you would wanna do is pick your tool of choice and then figure out what keywords are trending and doing really well in your niche and then create content using those keywords. Now with any of those methods, notice that we are not creating content that is what you think your customer needs. Instead, we're creating content that they think they need. We're creating content that they are already searching for. And this is a really important distinction because as the expert, you probably know that the solution to their problem is slightly different from what they're looking for. Otherwise, they'd have the solution already. But the important thing is to meet them where they are so you can show them that you have a better way of doing things. You have to give them what they want in order to get them what they need. Step number four is to make your relationships a priority. I say this all the time to my clients, the internet is not some wild west with a different set of rules. It's just a way for you to create in-person relationships with people 
that aren't in your geographic area. So resist the urge to automate everything. You can't automate relationships with your customers. When your ideal customer comes to your social media profile, whatever platform it is, you want them to feel welcome, to feel heard, and to feel understood. There's lots of ways to do this. You can send individual welcome messages. I would recommend that no matter what the platform, you reply to every single comment you receive. You can also go to their profiles, give them love on their posts, or if you have the time, send them personalized tips and answer every single individual question. Now, as your account grows, it's gonna be a little bit of a time crunch. You're not gonna be able to get to everybody, and I don't want you to feel guilty about that, but as long as you maintain the practice of having real relationships with your customers, you're in good shape. These personal touches are going to surprise and delight even the most cynical of social media users because they're so unusual in today's world. And people who think that you're different and feel that they have a connection with you ultimately will know, like, and trust you enough to become customers. Relationships are king. Tip number five is probably the most important and that is to always be authentic. Your ideal customer, the person you are going after on social media is ultimately someone who wants to work with you, not the version of you that you created for the internet. So you have to be yourself online, otherwise you're not gonna give your followers the opportunity to decide whether or not they want to work with the real you. You want to be all of your authentic self, so that way the people who love you and wanna work with you love the real you, and the people who don't give up and go somewhere else. You don't wanna work with those people anyway. Being authentic online ensures that you get the most amazing followers and customers to work with. It makes your business so much more fun, so much more rewarding, and honestly, a lot easier. So these five quick tips will allow you to attract and build relationships with your ideal customers on social media. But if you are a coach, an influencer, or a network marketer who wants more advanced strategy, you are really going to love the Bizfluencer Bootcamp. Inside this brand new live coaching program, you're gonna learn how to stop being your industry's best kept secret because no one wants to be a secret in their industry. And you're gonna start being paid just to be your authentic self. We are gonna take the first quarter of 2020 to build, monetize, and market your purposeful personal brand. Enrollment opens on Black Friday with some crazy bonuses worth well over $1,500. So you are definitely going to wanna to put your name on the wait list so you can be the first to save your seat. So click the link down below, enter your information to put your name on the wait list so you can be the first to know when the Bizfluencer Bootcamp opens. And since you're already here, just click that red button down below to subscribe to this channel because in my very next video, because it's Thanksgiving week, we're talking all about how gratitude actually helps your business. I'll see you there.